This morning in today's kitchen, healthy and delicious meals from hot chef Devin Alexander. After struggling with weight as a child, Devin has created a career out of teaching others how to lose extra pounds by eating flavorful, low-calorie meals. Her new book is I Can't Believe It's Not Fattening, over 150 ridiculously easy recipes for the super busy. Devin, good to see you. You too. So now, you, you've struggled with weight for about 15 years, and, and you finally kind of got it under control. What was the, the thing, that the, the light bulb that went off for you? You know, I heard if you cut just 100 calories from your diet per day, mm -hmm. on average, you'll lose 10 pounds in a year. So I was like, wow, 100 calories, that's nothing. And I started concentrating on my cravings and taking out the stuff I don't want, mm -hmm. uh, like things that you don't taste anyway, and then focusing on the flavors we and love. That's, we're looking at you as a teenager, uh -oh. and uh, you've obvious, <laughs> obviously worked very hard and been very successful. So we're going to make uh, goat cheese uh, and chicken. Bricks. Yes, we're making chicken with them, fire roasted tomatoes and goat cheese. Could you use another cheese if you didn't? Absolutely. You can use feta. You can use anything you want here. Okay. We're just going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. And then mist the pan with olive oil now, spray. Now, I notice you're doing a mister thing. Right. You just don't need a lot of oil. The important part here is that your pan is nice and hot. You want to hear the Do sizzle. you have to use a nonstick pan? I would use a nonstick pan. Okay. Otherwise, you have to use way too much oil. Okay. So and they, you don't want to crowd the pan with too many chicken breasts, do you? Exactly. You want to make sure you get this nice brown on there. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, the chicken's just not going to taste restaurant quality. Right. And then we're just going to top it with a little bit of fire-roasted tomato. So now you've browned both sides of it? Yes. Okay. Brown both sides, you just want to get a good sear on both sides. Mm -hmm. Throw these on here. And now the fire roasted tomatoes, where do the how do you how do you fire roast tomatoes? These come in a can, oh, believe in it a or can. not. This book, a lot of people know I've written the biggest loser cookbooks. Right. And this book is the answer to all those people who say I don't have time to cook, because mm -hmm. these recipes are way quicker than any of my other books. So you're you're saving some time by a couple of shortcuts. Right. And then we'll just basically just finish putting this chicken and this goat cheese on here. Mm -hmm. It's sticking a little bit today. Well, so you get that non-stick goat cheese. You get the non-stick goat cheese. Just then comes you right don't off put the it spoon. under hot lights. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just would top it with a little bit of basil. Mm -hmm. And then you literally. Pop so you do this. that while it's in the pan. While it's in the pan, mm -hmm. and then you pop the pan directly into your oven. And how hot is the oven? The oven is about 350 degrees. And how long do you leave it in there? Uh, five to nine minutes. Oh, that's pretty good. And then it comes out looking like this. It comes out looking like this, and you're ready to eat. Well, that's fantastic. Now, what else do you have for us? Okay, this is a raviolzagna. Raviolzagna. Yes. <laughs> wow. It's a lasagna made with ravioli noodles. Cause who has time to boil the pasta and then make all the cheese filling? Mm -hmm. So this way, you take some sauce. You are these it. frozen? Uh, they are frozen, and you want to go for the low-fat kind. Mm -hmm. And you can even, I suggest that people use whole wheat. And you can even go all natural. Mm -hmm. Over 70% of the recipes in this book can be made with organic or natural ingredients. Very and I explain nice. all that, too. Okay, dessert. You, now you, I understand. You eat chocolate every day? I do. Every day? <laughs> every single day in some form. And I should also mention, the, 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 the what would you call this again? Raviolzagna. Raviolzagna is 145 calories per serving? That one's 301, 301, 301. for a sixth of this okay, dish. Okay, that's right. This, this is 145, one is 145 calories. 145, yes. So w w what is this? This is a no-pudge brownie. You make mm -hmm. the brownie from the no-pudge mix uh -huh. with yogurt. So it's fat-free. Oh, wow. And then you add fat-free frozen whipped topping and mm -hmm. crushed peppermints along with some chocolate now, Show us how you, you, you top this, you get to that point. Yes, you just literally pop this on here. And this takes less than 10 minutes mm -hmm. in your hands. You have to bake it, which takes a little bit longer. Right. But you literally you smear it out. Smear it around. And then you put some, some crushed peppermint yep. on there. Crushed peppermint. And, and then, then, of course, drizzle, drizzle, some, drizzle chocolate. some chocolate syrup. And you come out with something Looking. that actually looked a little better. <laughs> than, oh, that's a mess. But anyway, there you but go. But it's like a great, uh, I call it a, pe a chocolate peppermint pizza. Mm -hmm. And then if you have a pizza party, plus it cooks quicker in a pizza pan than it does. So all about the time on this Unbelievable. one. Unbelievable. Devin Alexander, thank you so much. Thank you. fantastic. I love it. And we're going to be back in a moment. But first, this is today on NBC. Raviolzagna.